Hi there, my name is Alana and here at Class on the Run we love talking about luxury and high-end makeup and handbags. Today I'm excited to be sharing with you my thoughts on Pat McGrath's Holiday 2021 collection. Now I will have a separate video for the big palette, but today we're going to be talking about the two quads that she released which are Bronze Borealis and Deep Space Divinity as well as that beautiful, beautiful highlighter that she has released. So. Really quickly, uh, here at Classy on the Run, we are doing Vlogmas, so I'm posting a new video here on YouTube every single day until Christmas, so definitely, if you haven't already, please subscribe, because I have some fun videos planned, and I have some little surprise giveaways. So today I am wearing the Deep Space Divinity, and I'll be wearing that palette for the remainder of the sort of talking scenes in this video, but yesterday I was wearing Bronze Borealis, so it is fresh in my mind, so let's go apply these eyeshadows, and then we'll talk about them a little bit more. Before we do that, uh, today, the day of filming, I'm going to try to get this video up um, tomorrow, so hopefully the sale is still on, but her holiday collection is like 40% off on the website, so that means these eyeshadow quads, which are normally 73 Canadian, are down to 44. So I'm going to leave everything linked down below, but let's get started. first with Bronze Borealis. Now I have something that I feel like as a YouTuber is almost embarrassing to share, but I filmed this like three days ago and then I went to um, edit it and then I realized I deleted the footage because I was out of space on my card. I thought it was my other card. So anyways, we're refilming this section. We're going to start off with my Refer One brush and we're going to go in with this sort of goldy champagne shade here. So on the plus side, I already know what I'm getting out of this look but you guys don't, so just work with me here. So we're gonna start with putting this all over the lid. Now I'm actually wearing this out to an event tonight. We're going out to dinner for my mother-in-law's birthday. And so, I didn't have time to do my hair today because um, I had a busy day at work but we have time to do our makeup. Actually, we're heading out for dinner like right after I finish filming this segment. So I will say off the bat, I do get a lot of fallout on this shadow here. Uh, I just blew a bunch of it away, but I get a lot of fallout on the shadow. So as you can see, this gives us a really pretty sort of like golden sort of luminescent base. It actually reminds me a lot of the prime shade in Walk of No Shame. And actually, to be honest, like this entire palette it's not as red toned as Walk of No Shame, but definitely seeing a lot of similarities. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Wayne Goss 17 brush and I'm gonna go in with the shimmery purple shade here as our transition. And we're just sort of going windshield wiper motions back and forth just to build up a little bit of depth in this shadow. And we're gonna go a little harder on sort of the outer half-ish outer third of the eye. And every now and again, because of the fallout, I'm just gonna take this brush and just kind of buff a little bit of it away before it really gets in there. Also with fallout, I find it really helps to give your brush a good tap before going onto your eye. One thing I really like about this palette is I feel like it really brings out the sort of the green tones in my eyes. I feel like my eyes can either go green or blue depending, well I mean they say they stay the same color, but I find that depending what eyeshadow I'm wearing it can really pull in the green or the blue, and I do find that the red-purple tones in this really, to me, bring out the green and really make my eyes pop. Okay, so now we're going to use the same brush. I'm a big fan of Easy Looks, big fan of not using too many brushes. We're going to go in with this matte shade here. Again, some little taps, and we're going to stay focused on the outer third of the eye. We're going to build up little tiny circles, and then in the crease, we're just going to drag it in about halfway. Again, a little tiny circles and then dragging it in a touch. And then using the same brush, we're gonna give it a quick little pinch and just drag it under just the outer little bit of my eye. So I'm gonna go with this brush that I got from Ipsy and I'm gonna take this bronzy gold shade here we're gonna put that on the inner um, 
inner portion of our eye. Basically, we're gonna bring it as far as the purple. So we're not gonna leave any part of our eye blank. And then once we get to the purple, we're just gonna extend a touch. Now we are gonna go back and blend that in just a moment. This is a synthetic brush. Um, I do generally prefer to use a natural hair brush, but all of my natural hair shader brushes are uh, dirty and I need to wash them. Because like I said, I already filmed this look and I thought I'd be editing this tonight. So we are making the best of the situation. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with this brush to just clean up a little bit under there, just to make sure that we're not, you know, having a little, a little eyeshadow on our face. And I'm gonna take my Refer 27 brush. So, so this is a clean brush, really big, really fluffy, and just a great brush to just make sure everything is seamless. So you can see it's already picked up a lot of color. I'm gonna bring it back over here. We just want everything to be just one really pretty sort of golden sunsetty eye. Okay, so this gold honestly feels so like gilded on the eye, so pretty. So again, this palette has three sort of metallic shimmer shadows and then one matte shadow. Absolutely beautiful color combination. What I can't get over is how similar on the eyes this quad and Deep Space Divinity look, even though they look so different in the pan. Okay, so let's pop on some mascara and eyeliner and then we're gonna play with the highlighter and I will show you today's final look. Okay, so let's pop the highlighter on and then we'll take a look at the final look. Of course, we're using the beautiful Pat McGrath highlighter. This is a gel to powder formula. We've got the Refer 19 brush and I'm just gonna use that to just apply just a little bit of a glow right along here. So what I found is that when you just kind of leave it sitting on your skin, it doesn't really look that great or I should say it doesn't look that great. It just doesn't look special. Like it just looks like any highlighter and at this price point you want it to be beautiful but when you buff it in I think that's when the magic really starts to happen so I give it one swipe first and then a little little buffing action a little bit on my nose there we go okay let's take a look at the final look so overall I think this is a really really pretty look especially for the holidays honestly I think anything in this sort of goldy, purpley, I call them like sunset eyes. I've probably said it a thousand times during this video, during this portion, but anything in the sunset eye category I think is beautiful for Christmas, New Year's, parties, all of that. I'm going with a nude lip today because we're going out for dinner um, for my mother-in-law's birthday, but I think if you added a red lip, this would really, really pop for the holidays. I mean, it already really pops. It. What I really actually like about this is it is, I know it's called Bronze Borealis, but the gold, gold on here is really a nice rich bronzy gold it brings a lot of warmth and honestly just with pat's metallic formulas i mean she has a great formula in general but i find her metallic formulas are just thick and creamy and buttery and i sort of have two eyeshadow preferences i have the lightweight and easy but i also i love those nice thick rich buttery shimmery shadows so i think this is a really really pretty look and on to Deep Space Auto. Okay, so this eyeshadow comes in a really pretty red packaging, that holiday packaging from Pat McGrath. This quad is a lot darker um, than I imagined it to be. This is my first time opening it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my makeup brush that I almost dropped with my refer number one, and we are gonna take this sort of nude buffy um, shimmery shade and just gently put that all over the lid. Ooh, that is quite the gold. Okay, this is gonna be a pretty dramatic look. But, you know, I'm here for it. I love gold. If you guys are familiar with my channel, uh, you guys know I love a nice shimmery base for my eyeshadow. We're now gonna be going in with this maroon shade here. We're gonna be using my Refer 15, which is a big, like, kind of, was it bluffy? This is a big um, fluffy, not bluffy, a big fluffy blending brush, and we're gonna be going in with this matte sort of purpley wine maroon shade. Tap it off, and we're gonna just kind of put this into the crease, ooh. Okay, this is definitely giving me sunset eye vibes, which I'm pretty okay with. So now I'm gonna be going in with my Refer number two brush. I'm gonna go in with this beautiful kind of shimmery brown blue. I'm gonna kind of pack this on the outer half of my eye. Ooh, that was quite a purple shift. Okay. Uh, okay, this. 
I'm down. We're gonna repeat this on the other side. So now I'm just gonna wipe this brush off really quickly on a color switch because we are gonna be blending um, the next two colors together. But using the exact same brush, I'm gonna go in with this beautiful rose gold copper shade right here. And I'm gonna put this on the um, inner half of my eye. I start by packing that on. Now I'm going to start to kind of blend that into that blue. So that way it looks relatively seamless. And then I'm gonna take a clean blending brush. This one's just from Morphe. Um, and I'm just going to sort of blend everything together out here just because I really do like a more seamless look. Then I'm gonna be using this brush and I'm gonna go in with that maroon shade and I'm gonna pinch it and just gently drag it underneath. So here we have the swatches. So here we have Deep Space Divinity and look at that blue in that duochrome. It is so, so beautiful. Then we have Bronze Borealis. This is very much a palette that's in my comfort zone. With both palettes, you can see a really beautiful, beautiful matte. And then finally, I've got the highlighter over here and you can just see, let's just buff it in a little bit. You can just see buffed into the skin how beautiful it is and what a, just a pop of glow it gives. Okay, so first let's talk about these two eyeshadow quads. So we're first gonna be chatting about Deep Space Divinity. Now Deep Space Divinity, which has that really beautiful matte sort of cranberry shade and the duochrome sort of metallic blue-brown, definitely looked the most intimidating. I'm not gonna lie, I really debated ordering this one, but I decided to order it so that way I could compare them both on my channel. If I didn't have a YouTube channel, I gotta be honest, I probably wouldn't have ordered this quad, which, you know, good thing I have a YouTube channel because I actually think it looks really, really beautiful on the eye. I will just say looking at the quad in the pan, it felt very intimidating, but I really, really enjoy the sort of sunset vibe it has. And I do think the duochrome blue just adds a little bit of something that I think makes this look really, really stand out. The formulas across the board are fantastic. I did notice less fallout with this eyeshadow quad compared to Bronze Borealis. Um, and I just found it was really, really easy to work with, easy to blend, and just came together really, really beautifully, which shouldn't be a surprise because I mean, Pat McGrath makes just incredible eyeshadow formulas. Now this palette definitely has what I like to call Atlanta shades. It has that champagne -y color, has a golden bronze, it has a nice shimmery sort of mauvey purple, a nice matte purple. Honestly, these are basically exactly the kind of colors I like to wear. I felt really, really pretty wearing this. I thought the eyeshadow, again, looked beautiful on my eyes. Easy to work with the formula, easy to blend. I did find this palette had a touch more fallout than I prefer, but on the whole, um, you know, not something that I would steer you away from this palette on. I will also say I'm the kind of person who I really like doing my foundation first. And if I have some fallout, which I don't often do with the products that I like to use, I'll just kind of clean it up and blend it out and put a little more foundation on, it all works out. But I really like having my foundation on first. So if you are somebody who can kind of go either way, I would recommend doing your foundation after. Um, applying this eyeshadow. But I think Bronze Borealis is really, really pretty. If you are a neutral lover like me, I think Bronze Borealis is sort of a nice way to still be in the neutral family, but have a little bit more pop, a little bit more shimmer, a little bit more everything for the holidays. What I love about both of these quads is you have three of her metallic formulas, which is one of my favorite formulas that Pat McGrath offers, along with a matte. And both of these quads have something that I really look for, which is a really light, you know, it doesn't have to be pearl, but just a really light sort of shimmery kind of shade that I can put all over my lid to start my I love that with both of these quads, I have everything I need in one place. Editing Alana here. So I am watching back this footage. I'm doing the editing right now and I can't believe how similar these two eyeshadow palettes look on my eyes. I mean, honestly, I can't even tell that I'm wearing different palettes. I mean, I know I am because I did my makeup and I'm watching the footage, but I can't believe how similar the two quads look, which they look so different in the pan. I I honestly, I didn't even realize that I was doing my makeup. It's, I'm watching the footage and I'm just like, that is the same look, but it's not. 
but it is. So the only thing I don't like, I'm gonna start with the outer packaging. So this is, just for example, um, this is my Venus in Fleur Lux quad. I have a couple other quads from, uh, from my friend Pat McGrath. And by friend, I mean one time she tweeted back at me. So we're pretty close. Anyways, so this is what I was sort of expecting. Um, notice the larger pan size. And just, I mean, a nice little note on the outside, we do have this sort of embossed gold that has a nice feel to it. The outer packaging does feel cheaper. It's just like a printed on gold. It doesn't have that extra texture. So I'm just gonna hold that up for you. But this one right here is her usual, and this is what she did for holiday. Now, when I open these up, you'll notice right away the different pan sizes. And what I don't like about this holiday one is if you're gonna give us smaller pans, give us a smaller quad. You know, I I really don't like wasted space in my beauty collection, so I like that these are a bigger pan. Probably unnecessary, I mean, I would never hit pan in this, but I like that it takes up the space better than in, um, than in what she's released for holiday. It's just like immediately when you open it, instead of having that luxurious full feeling that you have when you open this quad, you just feel like something is missing and you almost just feel like I don't know, it's just like you open it and you're already disappointed. And so you almost have to get over that disappointment before you even apply the product on your eyes. Now, I did do some research, some sleuthing, some math. And her regular quad has 4.9 grams of product, whereas the quad that she's released for the holiday is 4.4 grams of product. So there is 0.5 gram, we're gonna say, missing. But not to worry, you say, this is cheaper. One, cheaper packaging to less product, it should be noticeably cheaper, right? You're wrong. In Canadian dollars, the larger traditional sized quad that has the 0.5 grams um, more product retails for $79. And so you'd think that maybe the other palette is like 60 Canadian. No, no, this is 73. So it's a $6 difference. And I just think that that's just not a big enough difference. Um, given the size of the pans, given the less product, like, you know, it just it just doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel luxurious. It's not what I expect when I'm paying, you know, this amount of money for makeup. And I just can't express, like, I don't like opening this and seeing the small palettes. It just really bothers me. Probably bothers me more than I should, but I wanted to put that out there. Okay, so next up we have the uh, absolutely stunning um, highlighter she released. So this is Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter in Lunar Nude. So first off, um, this is so beautiful. I mean, you've got the gold packaging, which obviously will have my fingerprints all over it, and this beautiful, beautiful embossing on the powder. I mean, I, I honestly, I can't get enough of looking at it. Now, I did find this highlighter a little tricky. First of all, it is pretty pricey. It is 73 Canadian dollars. I believe it's 60 US, although, um, you know, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm from Canada. I price things in Canadian. So this highlighter, the first time I wore it, I was not super impressed. I, you know, I definitely used, I have like an itch on my face, definitely used a lighter hand and I just found that it didn't, it wasn't as incredible as I expected for the price point and for what I've come to expect from Pat McGrath. It's sort of a um, medium peachy, sort of a peachy gold highlighter. It does have a micro sparkle to it, which I think looks really, really beautiful on the pan, but on the face, I don't really feel like the micro sparkle comes through, which is good. I want to glow. I don't want to sparkle. You know, I just, I want to have a nice glow. So the formula is sort of a gel powder. And when I went in with a lighter hand and I was just sort of letting it sit on the skin, it didn't really do much for me. But when I went in with a little bit of a, a little bit of a heavier application and I really buffed it into the skin, that's where I got this really pretty lit from within glow. I would say across the board, this highlighter is really, really pretty. Definitely not necessary, not something that you must have. Um, I think there are lots of other really pretty highlighters out there on the market, I think. Lots of brands have really pretty highlighters. If you are a Pat McGrath enthusiast or a Pat McGrath collector, I mean, who wouldn't want to have something like this to open every single day? For me, I don't really see this as an everyday product. I think it has just a little bit more glow than I'm looking for in my day-to-day -day life. That being said, it's very pretty and it is included in that 40% off promo that I mentioned. So I'm gonna leave everything linked down below and if you've been on the fence about it, 
honestly, there's be never a better time than now to pick it up because of that sale. But overall, I'm really happy with the products that I picked up. My only disappointment um, is the size of the pan compared to the price on the eyeshadows. Um, I just, you know, that just didn't feel luxurious to me. It didn't feel great. But the eyeshadows are really, really pretty. And maybe I'm irrationally upset about it because honestly, I'm not going to hit pan on any of these. But I just wish that if they had that much less product that they brought the price down a little bit more than $6. So anyways, across the board, a beautiful collection. Never a better time than now to pick it up. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this collection in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mwah.